Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics video series, So You Want to Learn LaTeX. Today, I'm going to show you how to give your longer LaTeX documents sections, titles, lists, and other structural features. So far, these videos have been mostly dealing with tips for writing individual isolated pieces of text or typeset mathematical formulas, but you're probably going to want to add some structure to your document. Never fear, LaTeX once again has a whole slew of commands and options that let you do what you want. We'll start up an article like usual, only this time we're using the lorem ipsum package so I don't have to write massive piles of text uh, to show you what, an, what a larger article looks like. Now let's say that I want to give my article the title that isn't just some text that looks like the rest of it and without sort of uh, all sorts of annoying alignment commands. Here's how you do it. We just use the title command uh, and, put the, and put the title in it, but this is inside the preamble, not the document itself. Same thing with the author. Uh, I'll say that the author is myself and also I can give it a date using the date command. Uh, and the date, we can just use the backslash today command as well, which uh, makes you not have to remember what day it is. Uh, and then in the document itself, you use the make title command, and now I'll put in some lorem ipsum text to show you what, the, what it looks like compared to normal text. And if we compile this, we see that we have the title of the document is large and is centered and looks different from the body text of the document. And then you have my name and the date. Now you can change a lot of things in this. For example, the date is just a text field. You don't have to use today. You, can, you don't have to use a specific date style. So if we say 27 March, as opposed to March 27, that, that's fine. Uh, for multiple authors, inside the author command, you use the backslash end command to separate authors. So me and Abraham Lincoln. And if we compile this, we see that our uh, two names are separated as if we're multiple authors of the document. And the date is reproduced uh, verbatim. Now, don't, uh, make sure you don't use multiple instances of the backslash author command because only the last one will take. As you can see, King George III is not an author of this document. Now, in the document itself, say uh, you've, get, you've got your title, but you also want to give your document sections. To do this, use the backslash section command. And you'll also see that Text Studio will it will create a section in the structure, uh, in, uh, in the structure panel for the document, uh, which you can jump back and forth if you got really big documents using. Here we see we, we have two sections. Uh, they're n automatically numbered, and the section titles are uh, big and bold as you would want them to be. In addition to sections, you can also have subsections using, as you may expect, the subsection command. Again, Tech Studio is making uh, subsection tabs in the structure panel. As you can see, these are subnumbered based on the numbering of the sections, and uh, the, tit the titles are again bolded but slightly smaller. Now that we have sections and subsections, we might want a table of contents. And to put in a table of contents, use the table of contents command, which automatically parses the doc document for all its sections and subsections and etc. As you can see, we have our table of contents, which shows the, all the sections and subsections and what page in the document they occur on. If you want smaller uh, structures than sections and subsections, you can also use the enumerate and itemize environments. These basically create either enumerated, enumerated or itemized lists. I'm setting up these environments now, and I'll show you what each looks like. Uh, inside an enumerate or itemized environment, you separate the individual items with the backslash item command. Uh, this doesn't have an argument, it, it just makes an item of whatever follows it until the next item command. And if we compile this, we see that the enumerate gives the list numbers, whereas the itemized does it with bullets. In addition, you can actually nest these environments. Uh, here I'm copy pasting it into itself to be fancy. And what this does is in, additional, in addition to um, making the interior list smaller, it also sort of changes the uh, bullets or the numbers that it uses uh, to denote each item so you can have uh, your structures have sort of hierarchical structure. I can see the internal itemize uses dashes rather than bullets, and the internal enumerate uses letters rather than numbers. And now you know how to put structure in your documents.
Thank you for watching this video in our series, So You Want to Learn LaTeX. Click here to view other videos in our series. Click here to, to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any new Center of Math videos. And click here for our website, which has more math resources, including a catalog of our textbooks, which are all, as you may know, written in LaTeX.